It's gonna get better, but I'll take that as a land. Welcome back to the bus build, guys. Whew. It's a new week and a new haircut. It's a little bit shorter than I would normally do. Moving on to the build this week. I wanna finally get these kitchen drawers completed. I have the three over there and the one for underneath the oven done over there. So I have the two over here to make. I got new wood two weeks ago, so that should go pretty quickly. I just have to, I already have the measurements and everything too. I really just have to cut everything to the right dimension. And then when all this is finally put together, we have to decide on the paint color for the kitchen. I have the swatches in my room. I'll show you guys at some point in this video. Definitely going with a green of some sort. We have like three options of different greens we like. We're gonna hop right into making the drawers. All right. of my main cuts done on the circular saw so now I just have to cut them down to size so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the miter saw there you have it we're all done with the cuts for the day I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this stuff up getting things done getting things done 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 Well, I ended up not working on anything yesterday, bus related, Wednesday. Now it's Thursday, and I thought it was gonna be really nice out. It is warm-ish, it's like super wet out. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and construct the um, drawers in the garage here. This is my first time wearing all this stuff from before I died, before I switched up the materials. And I gotta say, I'm so glad that I, I haven't worn it since. And I'm so glad that I switched it up because it's just not as good, man. Not nearly as good. If you haven't already, go over to BeforeIDieOfficial.com. Check out all the new designs. The whole Legacy Collection is live. It's been live. This is week number three going on now. I'm really excited to uh, start designing the Summer Collection, which... It's gonna be coming out in probably like what two months, two and a half months. Now let's get on to these drawers. The top one done for that little section. I'm pretty sure that actually is just wide enough to fit the blender onto the next. I finished the other drawer. This one is gonna be for the garbage, even though it is pretty skinny. It's mostly just gonna be for like odds and ends late at night or early in the morning, cause I feel like we're gonna be in parks so often and whatnot when we're using the bus that we can just throw things away there. So this is gonna be just for quick odds and ends. Go ahead and clean up and see what else I can get into later today or tomorrow. It is beautiful but windy. I hope you guys can hear me all right. Let's just get right into work. I'm gonna start with sanding out today. Also, we're back to shorts weather, baby. Back to shorts weather. All right. 
right, so I have my 220 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna go ahead and sand out the insides real quick and get those finished up. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the like the brush on polycrylic like I did for the upper cabinets. They have spray, so I'm thinking about just spraying them down. But I'm not gonna finish the outsides, I'm only gonna finish the insides, so I'm not really too sure. hear me it's getting pretty windy out but uh, the insides are all sanded out with the 220 grit so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get the air compressor I'm gonna blow out all of the sawdust and then we can get started on the polycrylic finish Finally, on to the last drawer. My back is killing me from bending over, but we're so close. And then that's gonna call it a night when I'm done with this one. I wanna try and get a second coat on these tomorrow to finish off the week. And I also wanna talk about paint color before the end of the video, so make sure you wait. I have the swatches in my room. I'm gonna bring them outside and show you guys tomorrow as well. All right, it's the next day. I'm back out to give the drawers a nice light sand before I put the second coat of polycrylic on. But before we get into any of that, I wanna show you guys the color swatches for the kitchen. So let's head inside the bus, talk about these a little bit, and we'll come back out here and we'll finish up this project for the day. All right, so we have our color swatches here. So everything is gonna get painted on the kitchen and over here on the fridge enclosure. So the entire face, all the faces of the drawers and everything. If you guys couldn't tell by the exterior of the bus, just to keep everything kind of with the flow of being an outdoorsy kind of vibe, we're gonna go with green. Love it or hate it, <laughs> we're going with green for all of the lower. The uppers, you guys already know, they're white with that cane webbing on the faces and then for everything else, there's just gonna be solid faces with green. We have our light ones here, our mediums, and then we have these different, slightly different colors. These are out of the picture. This one, in person, is a little bit more of like a pea green out of the picture. So really what we're trying to choose between are these two into the green and Tremont green and something like this, the uh, organic garden or the jalapeno jelly. Kind of leaning toward the Tremont or into the green, which are these bottom two ones on here. Fit the vibe of being like an indoor outdoor space. We have a white ceiling. We have white with the cane webbing for the upper cabinets. And then we're gonna have green cabinets for the kitchen itself. Here and there, we're gonna have wallpaper. And then we have this pallet board. So we do have that whole aesthetic going. So in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Tremont green into the green, jalapeno jelly, or organic garden. I'm not gonna bore you guys with the nitty gritty today. All we're doing is sanding out and we're putting another coat of the polycrylic on. So you guys already know what that looks like. So I'm just gonna end the video here and do this off camera. But thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment, I'll say hi, I'll say what's up. I reply to almost every comment. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Say, why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? Why would you look outside yourself when you?